Welcome along to the Met Office 10 day trend. Another spell of heat is on the way, but unlike the last heat wave, this one won't be as widespread. Let's take a look at the wider picture. First of all, this is the uh, position of the jet stream across the Atlantic in a fairly standard uh, west to east flow, kind of breaking down across the UK. Uh, but I'm more interested in what's going on the other side of the pond and across North America. The jet stream just getting a bit of power on, a bit of a wriggle on, a bit of a push here, some stronger winds high in the sky, remember, just push the jet stream south buckling it, if you like, and this generates what we call a trough, this dip in the jet stream. And that translates across the UK as the jets, by the time we get to Sunday and Monday, in this more north-south orientation rather than east-west. And what that means is that as high pressure topples to the east, building under this ridge, we are likely to tap into a bit more heat. If we rewind back to Saturday, watch this high pressure building up from the south and then drifting away to the east, and there's the hot air pushing its way northwards through Sunday and Monday. Monday likely to be the peak of the heat. But notice there's a cold front lurking out west and cooler air isn't far away. That really looks like pushing as we go in through into next week. More on that in a moment. Of course, let's get back to the shorter term. No real sign of uh, heat wave from Thursday morning with weather fronts crossing the country, a lot of cloud and some outbreaks of rain. It will be quite a warm and humid start across the south for sure. All, these, all this cloud and the outbreaks of rain will transfer from west to east and many places brightening up quite nicely on Thursday. Good spells of sunshine coming through. Still quite warm, certainly across the Midlands and eastern England. It's not as hot as Wednesday, but temperatures easily again getting into the mid-20s. But it, it shouldn't feel quite as warm, quite as humid. Something a bit fresher arriving by the end of Thursday. Now, by the time we get to Thursday evening and overnight, uh, we're looking out west as another weather system approaches, and that could bring some quite heavy and persistent rain, initially across Northern Ireland, but then spreading into Western Scotland. As we tick through Friday, that rain lingers here, and also across Northwest England, some heavy bursts of rain, the brighter colours there on the radar. So being pushed along by a fairly brisk wind, the winds will be picking up everywhere during Thursday and Friday, that helping to, to push the rain up over the hills, push the cloud up over the hills, generating more rain. So we need to keep an eye on the rainfall totals building up uh, as it stays pretty soggy in that northwestern corner during the course of Friday. So that's an area we'll be keeping a close eye on. That's being generated by the, the jet stream at this stage on Friday. It's starting to take that, that dip out in the Atlantic, pushing this first weather system up between the UK and uh, Iceland. And it's these weather fronts providing the wet weather on Friday. Now, by the time we get to Saturday, we're starting to see a bit of a separation between those weather fronts and the uh, jet stream. This weather front, as it pushes southwards, bumping up against the high pressure, will kind of get wrung out a little bit. So it will be fizzling out a little bit. But it's still going to be a really important player, this weather front, into the weekend. Because as a cold front, it marks the boundary between the very warm and humid air across England and Wales and the cooler and fresher conditions across northern parts of Scotland. So that weather front, as I said, will be the key player this weekend. So where it lies, it will be providing cloud and some outbreaks of rain. But as you can see, as it pushes southwards, the rain and drizzle likely to be kind of fizzling out somewhat. But it will mark that boundary. Quite a strong contrast in temperatures with East Anglia in the southeast getting close to 30 degrees Celsius. Whereas the far northwest will be up to 14, 15 degrees with a fairly brisk wind across the western isles of Scotland. So how your day pans out on Saturday will really depend on the position of this weather front. It could be sitting across southern Scotland, Northern Ireland. It could be sitting across northern England and North Wales. That, that representation I just showed you is the Met Office model. But we don't just look at one computer model. And uh, certainly in the medium range forecast, we, we run the model many times, called it an ensemble forecast. And this is the uh, European ECMWF ensemble forecasts. And uh, it's called a spaghetti plot for obvious reasons, showing the potential position. Every time we run uh, a computer model, it gives a potential position of that weather front. Now, they're in quite good agreement. This is for Saturday night, uh, midnight into Sunday morning. The golden line is where the European, the main model run, wants that weather front to be, sitting somewhere across northern England. You can see there's northern Scotland poking out southern England just down here. So the front's staying away from the extremes of the UK, but it could well be lying across southern Scotland, northern Ireland. It could be 
sitting further south across the Midlands and into parts of mid Wales. But the, the, a lot of the ensembles are in agreement, reasonable agreement, that it will be sitting across northern England and north Wales. But if you've got plans for the weekend, say the position of this weather front will be crucial. So do keep up to date with the forecast because there is a little bit of leeway into where it lies. And that will continue into Sunday as well. Still, the rain fizzling out, not a great deal on it, but some damp conditions, particularly as it pushes back further north, perhaps into parts of Northern Ireland. But still, crucially, that, that big temperature contrast and the heat building by this stage across the south, so more widely in South Wales, South West England, temperatures into the mid-20s and likely to get over 30 degrees across parts of eastern England on Sunday, a hot, humid day here. Whereas, again, across northern Scotland, we're only talking temperatures in the low teens with a fairly brisk wind. And obviously, we've still got that weather front around, providing some cloud and outbreaks of rain. Now, that does finally shimmy away, it looks like, to the north on Monday. But then this next weather front is approaching. And if you remember from the start, that one tucked behind it has some cooler air to come in from the Atlantic. We're still ahead of it, though, for most places on Monday. And that's likely to be the peak of the heat across central and eastern England. Temperatures over 30 degrees, 32, 33 degrees possible across parts of uh, southeast England, the London area up towards Cambridge, the, the usual suspects for the highest temperatures. Not as hot elsewhere, but still a bit warmer on Monday for Scotland and Northern Ireland compared to Sunday as that warmer air is finally getting in here. But it, it's not likely to last too long because that uh, cold front is expected to move across the country during Monday night and into Tuesday. The big question mark is how quickly it pushes in, how quickly it clears the heat, because there are uh, some models that, that keep the heat across East Anglia and the southeast. Let's show you another spaghetti plot, again, from the European model. Uh, when we run the ensembles, run it many, many times. Uh, it's even harder to see the UK here. So again, let's just zoom in. There's northwest Scotland. East Anglia is under here somewhere. Uh, the green line, again, is that main run from the European model, which is trying to clear it away. But notice more of the ensembles are holding it back a little bit more, that the consensus would be a little bit further back, which would keep the heat and the warmth for one more day across parts of East Anglia and the southeast. So we could still get over 30 degrees across that southeastern corner on Tuesday. It just depends on the speed of that weather front, how quickly it clears away. But it is likely to clear away and for the second half of next week it shouldn't be as hot. What is going to happen through next week? Well, the probability plot here showing that, well, actually, higher pressure is likely. Wednesday and Thursday, uh, greater than 50% of these uh, orangey-brown colours, which is a more blocking, more uh, steady weather pattern, with the uh, yellows, the, the most likely scenario, the Azores high extending up across the country. And quite a strong uh, suggestion there after a, a messy start to the week that, that higher pressure is more likely through the second half of next week. And that is borne out by the individual days and uh, the three most likely scenarios for uh, Wednesday next week all have anticyclone in the title. Anticyclone means high pressure, whether it's sitting just to the west of the UK, extending across us directly or sitting down to the southwest. And if we throw flow through into Thursday and Friday, again, they're all dominated by high pressure sitting somewhere close to the UK. Now, the exact type of weather that we see uh, where you are will depend on the flow and the exact position of this high. But generally speaking, with high pressure close to the UK, Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week, it is likely to stay uh, dry and we should have lost that heat, that cold front pushing its way away. I say should have lost that heat, but it isn't too far away. This is from the deterministic, the main run of the European Model 4 next Wednesday. Notice the hot weather isn't too far away, still across France. It wouldn't take much for that to edge further north and tap into it again across the south. But generally speaking, if we, if we start next week, pretty hot, uh, very warm certainly for many, hot in some places and quite humid. Things are going to turn a little cooler, but actually still only back to or probably even still slightly above average for the time of year. So still plenty of warmth. And actually it looks like with high pressure nearby, there should be plenty of fine and uh, sunny weather, pleasant summer weather as we head into the last part of June and early part of July. As always, for those day-to-day -day details, do keep up to date by following us on social media and the best bet, of course, is to subscribe to our YouTube channel.